Okay, you're given the graph of f of x, 3 sine of x, which is this blue curve. Uh, you're told that we're evaluating a Riemann sum on the interval from 0 to pi. And you're asked, what is the value of this Riemann sum? Okay, now it looks like there's only three rectangles here, but if we're using left-hand endpoints on 0 to pi, there's a rectangle here. It just happens to have a height of 0. So there's 4. N is 4, 4 rectangles. So the length of each subinterval is right-hand endpoint minus left-hand endpoint divided by 4. So every one of these rectangles has a width of pi over 4. Okay. And to find the, the values of x that we're going to plug into the function to get the height of each rectangle, we start at the left-hand endpoint, which is 0. That's your first x sub i. That's why we get this height, of, this first rectangle with the height of 0. x sub 2 is starting at 0 and adding on 1 width. So you could picture a 1 here if you wanted to. So the, the x sub 2 is pi over 4. Similarly, x sub 3 is 0 plus 2 of these widths, pi over 2. x sub 4 is 0 plus 3 of these widths. And if you're doing this in general, the height of the, or the x sub i would be 0 plus i minus 1 times pi over 4. Okay, but we're only evaluating this specific case. So the area of the first rectangle is 3 times the sine of x sub 1, which is 0. The sine of 0 is 0. That's why we get a 0. a sub 2 is 3 times the sine of pi over 4. This is x sub 2 times the width of that interval. All of these widths will be pi over 4. And the sine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2. So there's the area of the second rectangle. In a similar fashion, there is the area of the third rectangle. And the area of the fourth rectangle is the same as the area of the second rectangle, which looks to be the case. We add those areas all together and we'll have the the uh, total area. So we just add all those together. We add these 3 radical 2 pi over 8. Two of those, we get 3 radical 2 pi over 4, plus this 3 pi over 4 is, well, you could factor out a pi and say 3 radical 2 plus 3 is in parentheses all over 4. Okay, and here's some confirmation. This is a website that allow you to calculate Riemann sums. Uh, and there, this summation notation is the sum from i equals 0 to n minus 1. This is the height of each rectangle. This is the width, which is pi over 4. These answers confirm. And here's how you set that up on that website. Type in the function. Left-hand endpoint is 0, right-hand endpoint is pi, number of subintervals is 4, and then you have a choice of left-hand, right-hand, or midpoint sums. Uh, so I had C set equal to 0, and that gave us uh, the answer. There you go. I know there was a part B to this question, but I'll let you try it following the pattern here. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.